Nation And my million faces Born together made for elevation And my soldier Won't surrender faith It's like a father never burns to embers The voice of the unheard Love is the answer I gotta speak and believe it That's how I feel inside I can't sit here quiet Welcome to the Nassau Coliseum Welcome to Revolt Pro Wrestling I am Dan Muldoon and I'll be calling all of tonight's action. But before we get down to business, we have a quick update on the status of Shane Strickland. Strickland was attacked last Monday night while trying to attend the event. He has been released from the medical facility he was recuperating at and has returned home to continue recovering he suffered a mild concussion and some bruised ribs his uh, attacker is unknown at this time eyewitnesses report seeing a man in a black hoodie leaving the scene an investigation is currently ongoing we wish Shane a speedy recovery and hope he returns to action soon Up first, we have the unfortunate pleasure of seeing Austin Aries give the so-called opportunity of a lifetime to a young, up-and-coming wrestler by the name of Colin Delaney. We see Colin Delaney awaiting his opportunity. Now, folks, I'm meant to be impartial and unbiased, but I hope that young man kicks Aries' ass tonight. We await the so called greatest man who ever lived to make his way to the ring. Now, one thing about Aries is there's no doubt in his wrestling ability, but I just don't get why he goes about it the way he does. It's sickening, all the ability in the world, but he just chooses to use it in this negative, unwarranted way. I mean, what, what's he. What's he proven to anybody by doing this? He's just out to embarrass and humiliate. And there's not a thing the committee can do about it because he does it between the ropes of the squared circle. And as long as he doesn't break any rules in doing so, he's free to just continue at will. Sickening. And for the first time tonight, the referee gets set to sound the bell. Colin Delaney looking very relaxed. I hope he kicks Aries' ass here tonight. Aries quick out the gates. That somersault Frankensteiner. Exactly how he started last week against Douglas James. Now just smashing the face of Colin Delaney with those cross face forearms. Very little respect here. Setting up Delaney for the Brain Buster! <laughs> Folks, that could be it here. Absolutely disgusting display from Aries. Referee raising Aries' arm as he picks up his second win here in Revolt. Aries looks like he's having second thoughts as he looks back on Delaney. This is just, this is just, what a vile human being. What an absolute horrendous act. I hope the committee can take action. Next we see action from a women's division as Karma takes on Mayu Iwatani. Karma with the obvious and mountainous size advantage takes on the 27 year old Halen from Yamaguchi, Japan. 
Iwatani looking to fell the monster that is Karma here tonight and pick up a win in Revolt Pro Wrestling. Karma looking to devastate and dominate Iwatani. Karma, an 18 year veteran of the Squared Circle, has left a path of destruction through every promotion that she has worked in. Now, folks, we all know dreams and nightmares aren't real. But Karma very much is. What a presence. Iwatani preparing to make her way to the ring. Making her debut in 2011. Working mostly for the stardom promotion in Japan where she earned her stripes and plenty of gold along with it. Considered by the Wrestling Observer Newsletter to be among the best wrestlers in the world along with a good friend of hers, Yo Shirai. And I'd say very much up to the task at hand and definitely one to keep an eye on here as the weeks progress. And here we go folks, oh Karma, very quick, across the ring, covering it with great speed and absolutely upending Iwatani with that shoulder tackle. I dare say there's very few men, let alone women, who go toe to toe with the monster that is Karma. Forearm strike. Tani able to slip out the back door, sending Karma off the ropes with an Irish whip and sling blade! Momentarily taking the monster off her feet. And Karma turns her inside out with a massive clothesline. And Iwatani more than capable of overcoming this task. She needs to get a bit of momentum going. Karma looking very dominant in the early goings of this one. Kick to the midsection from Iwatani. She goes, oh, but Karma transitioning into a big power bomb. Lateral press, just a one count. Great heart from the young Mayu Iwatani. Karma grabs her by the throat, lifting her up and slamming her down with the choke slam. Now stalking her prey. Lifting her up, driving her down with such dominance and such force. Hooking the leg. Karma wins in dominant fashion. Iwatani just not able to get anything going. She'll be disappointed with that one. Karma leaving the ringside area now to the booze of the fans. But on our way out, stopping. I have another go off Iwatani by the looks of it. Picks her up for a power bomb. Goes towards the ring. Eh? Not the ring. Eh? Oh my god! Karma putting an exclamation point on this and putting the women's locker room on notice. Next we see the return to action of Brian Pillman Jr. 
and Chris Hero as both men set to face off, looking to pick up their first victories here in Revolt Pro Wrestling. Brian Pillman Jr. losing to Kenta on his first outing. Chris Hero picking up a loss against the unbreakable Michael Elgin in the main event of Revolt Week 1. Can both men get that monkey off their back? We're about to find out. Brian Pillman with something of a meteoric rise so far. Looking to further his career. Still very much referred to as a rookie. Something which he views with disdain. Looking to shake off that label. But he may be going about it, in my opinion, in the wrong way. I feel he needs to take stock maybe and set some goals for himself instead of taking these big matchups against these veteran superstars know this in industry inside out I think he may need a mentor maybe someone to take him under their wing and just help him achieve the next level that he's looking for Chris Hero looking to pick up some momentum by getting his first win against Pillman Jr. Something of a lackluster debut against Michael Elgin. Elgin able to put him down for the three count in their first meeting in the first main event of Revolt Pro Wrestling. Hero will be looking to put that behind him fairly quick and pick up a W here tonight. And folks, don't forget, Revolt Extra every Wednesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern on the Kayfabe Network, where we take a look back on all of tonight's action and look to the weeks ahead. And as the bell sounds, Pillman now very eager. To get this one underway, executes a flying crossbody, taking Chris Hero down. Boatman also very eager to get the victory here against their opponent. Pillman going for the cutter. Hero driving him into the turnbuckles of that clothesline. Hillman showing the frustrations of a young man who's not very happy with where he's at at the moment. Maybe he feels like he should be further along in his career as we see Hero coming off that middle turnbuckle with a great moonsault. A man of his size should not be able to execute such maneuvers but nonetheless he defies gravity and Pillman again with the flying crossbody. Phil Pillman should maybe seek out the advice of one of these veteran wrestlers instead of trying to defeat them here week in week out maybe get some guidance from somebody just on how to approach going about taking the next step in his career as Hero dumps him to the outside maybe creating a bit of separation just gathering his bearings Pillman kicked to the midsection and uncharacteristically slaps Hero across the face showing that frustration Pillman drop kicking Hero into the hardest part of the ring that ring apron ladies and gentlemen there's no giving that whatsoever and then following it up with a heel kick at the moment it seems to be all Pillman Hero, of course, will be looking to put that loss to Elgin behind him quickly and pick up the win over the young Pillman Jr. Oh, a big bicycle kick! Mashing that big boot into the face of Pillman, but Pillman able to come back here. Just I say that. 
Hero takes him down, locking in that submission maneuver. Hero, big fan favorite here. Great to see his return to pro wrestling. Great to see it happen. In NWA Revolt and Pillman. Tornado DDT execute to perfection. Definitely a step up from his match against Kenta. Hero though setting him up for that cradle pile driver. This could be our turning point here, ladies and gentlemen. Pillman looks out on his feet. Hero winds it up, and there it is. A rolling big boot. Hero delighted at carrying that off, executing that maneuver, and he's picked up his first win in Revolt Pro Wrestling. And unfortunately, and Pillman not able to get it done once again, and he won't be happy about that. It'll be interesting to see if Hero can carry this momentum forward and pick up another few wins on his quest for gold here in Revolt Pro Wrestling. And there we see it, a very unhappy Pillman makes his way out of the arena. And the action rolls on as we see the double debut of Daga and Pete Dunne. Is there ready to go to war in our co-main event? Daga will be accompanied to the ring by Selena De La Renta. And here he is folks, England's very own the Bruiserweight, Pete Dunne. The Bruiserweight, a native of Birmingham, England, began training in 2006 at the age of only 12 under the tutelage of Steve, Psycho Steve Edwards of Phoenix Wrestling in Coventry, England. Dunn said that his early training under Edwards was limited, providing him with only the basics, so he spent much of his early career working for as many small independent promotions as possible, as well as regularly practicing and training in a repurposed boxing ring in a community centre in Cardiff. During his school holidays nonetheless, there's dedication folks. He made his first appearance as a wrestler at the age of 13 in 2007 at a festival in Coventry. And then he began competing internationally and more regularly in 2011. A long storied history has led him to this point here. Making his way down the aisle at this time is Daga. Daga made his pro wrestling debut in 2009 and picked up his first championship a year later in 2010. And folks, this man is arrogance personified. Coming from a wealthy aristocratic Mexican family, feels everyone is beneath him. Him and Selena de la Renta, a fine pairing indeed. Selena signing Daga to her stable of talent, representing him here in Revolt. You now that same stable, not off to a great start here in Revolt. Lost Parks losing to Outlaw Zinc in their tag team outing. And Bestia losing to Mance Warner on Revolt Extra this past Wednesday. Selena obviously not liking it, sent Lost Parks to the ring and they proceeded to beat down on Mance Warner. I'm looking forward to see what comes of that as this one kicks off both men tying up. And folks up next we have our main event as we see Kenta in action again against the debuting golden star Kota Ibushi. Pete Dunn now with a fine display of that world of sport style of wrestling as he executes a series of moves and he just cranks the arm of Daga attacking the limb 
and lights his chest up with a big chop sends him to the ropes Irish whips drops down goes for a clothesline dagger avoiding that one follows it up with a heel kick sent to the corner reversing it now Pete Dunn in the corner Dunn sends him across the ring dagger baseball slide out and takes Dunn down with a clothesline that was fantastic great misdirection there from Daga Pete Dunn Frankensteiner Daga with a rake to the eyes now with the ground and pound much to the delight of Selena De La Renta at ringside Selena De La Renta will be looking for her foot soldier here to pick up the W Pete Dunn just choking Daga on that top rope Dunn shrugging off the drop kick attempt of Daga Irish whip to the corner Daga able to avoid that insecurity attempt and now just once again raking the face of Pete Dunn Pete Dunn would love nothing more than a win here tonight to get him set off on the right track as he sends Daga off the apron and both men engage in combat on the outside Nice dragon screw leg whip from Dag as he backs away from Pete Dunn momentarily. Dunn catching him, sending him to the other side of the ringside area. Not much in the difference here in the early going. Both men trying to gain a foothold on this match. The referee counting down 20 count here as per NWA rules Dunn looking for that fisherman buster maybe but Dag able to roll him up into an inside cradle Dunn reversing the weight both men exchanging pinfalls here but no dice Dag kick to the knee takes him down and a shining wizard driving the knee into the face of Pete Dunn springboard stunner Daga now going to the top rope after gaining the upper hand here beckoning Dunn to his feet comes off the top with a hurricanrana great display of that Mexican lucha libre style Dunn with the Texas cloverleaf trying to bend and break Daga Daga showing great leg strength rolling out of it and a basement drop kick to the jaw of Pete Dunn. What a matchup. Fine display of wrestling here from both these men. Daga spinning heel kick to the midsection, follows it up with a kick to the gut, hoists him high and drops him on the knees. Again with the ground and pound. All the momentum with Daga at the minute. She stalks Pete Dunn. Pete Dunn aware of it though. Able to get out. Forearm. Pump handle. Bitter end. Straight into the pin. Out of nowhere. Hits his finishing maneuver. The bitter end. And a near fall. Daga able to roll the shoulder. Selena De La Renta for the first time gone very quiet at ringside another loss would be bad Dunn look for the double foot stomp Dagger rolling away from it shoulder tackle taking Pete Dunn down bit of showmanship from Daga. as he cranked in that headlock on the mat looking for a pin only a two count, Dunn able to kick out. 
And then Bagga with the double underhook and once again driving the air out of the lungs of Pete Dunn. Neither man holding back. Going for a pinfall again, looking to get this one finished. And Pete Dunn once again out at two. Bagga looking to Selena in the corner. Stalking Pete Dunn once more. Takes him down very nicely. Locks in a submission maneuver. Right in the center of the ring. Dunn could be in trouble here, folks. Dunn fighting out. Sending Daga to the corner. Irish whip hits that insecurity this time round. Jawbreaker from Daga. And again. Able to get that drop toe hold. Locks in the submission maneuver. This time done very close to the ropes. And once again able to battle out. Daga maybe needle, needing to do a little bit more. Oh, nice clothesline from Daga. And we see that arrogance on display. Fans in attendance responding. <laughs> Big boos, Daga clothesline, another clothesline. Daga firing up, hits him with that heel kick. Pulling Pete Dunn to the middle of the ring, looking for the pin again. Dunn showing great heart out at two. Daga again with that double underhook. Gut buster type maneuver. Definitely attacking the cardio and stamina of Pete Dunn. Pete Dunn will have to catch his breath, but Dunn shoving the dropkick attempt of Daga out of the way. And now Dunn with the X-Plex! And just like that, the complexion of this match is changing. Dunn forearm to the jaw. Hitting a bitter end again. Lena getting into it with the fans at ringside as the cheers ring out. Hooks the leg. Near fall once again. Don't complain to the ref, but that'll do him no good. He should change his focus back onto Daga. Daga just had enough time to recover and he dumps Pete Dunn to the outside. With that clothesline over the top and now climb to the top turnbuckle. Shout for Pete Dunn to get to his feet. And he comes off the top, but he misses. Standing switch. Another one. Pete Dunn just striking Daga, falling to the ground on the outside. Referee up to a count of seven. Pete Dunn able to roll Daga back into the ring. Grabs that triangle choke. Just putting his body between Daga and the ring ropes. Daga not able to make it there, but able to deadlift powerbomb done, breaking the hold. Has the damage been done? Pete Dunn going to the well one too many times with that insecurity. Daga had it scouted and now again raking the face of Dunn. Selena De La Renta applauding her soldier. Ringside now Daga taking his time. I wonder what he's waiting for here. Maybe just figuring out his next plan of attack. Don kick to the midsection. Power bomb. Straight into the pin. Up ends. Daga and a Texas pile driver. Keep done. Looking for the bitter end again. Daga aware of it. Able to slip out and a backstabber. Straight into the pin, but Pete able to get his hand to that bottom rope. 
forcing the rope break. Dagger to the top turnbuckle. Looking for that. Inverted 450, but it eats the knees of Pete Dunn. Dunn, fireman's carry. Dagger out the back door. Reverse DDT. Pete Dunn able to roll to the outside, create some separation. Catches breath. Very high paced, high intensity matchup. Naga has Pete Dunn up on his shoulders. Drops him face first on that ring apron. The hardest part of the ring, folks. Rolls Pete Dunn back into the ring. Looking for the finish. Grabs a single leg takedown. Dunn out of it though. Front headlock by Daga. Dunn now kick to the midsection and an X plex out of nowhere once again straight into the pin. And Selena just grabs the ref, pulling him out in the ring. Referee having a word. But look, inside the ring, Dunn is stalking Daga. Hits the bitter end. And the Bruiserweight gets it done. Picking up his first victory here in Revolt Pro Wrestling. Bad night once again for Selena De La Renta. What a great match. This one will be playing in highlight reels for years to come. That's for sure. Pete Dunne taking in the crowd. Great start to his Revolt Pro Wrestling career. We see an old rivalry renewed here in our main event as the golden star Kota Ibushi takes on Kenta. Making his way down the aisle at this time is Kenta. Kenta, fantastic result in his first outing in Revolt Pro Wrestling. As he put the young Brian Pillman Jr. to sleep with that GTS. Looking to continue and ride that wave of momentum here tonight. As he takes on an old rival of his from his days in Japan. The golden star Kota Ibushi. Both men very aware of each other's capabilities within the ring. They know each other inside and out. This one makes for a very interesting matchup. I'm looking forward to this one, folks. comes the golden star Kota Ibushi mixed reception from the fans Kenta would be the slim favorite here I dare say Kota Ibushi former three-time IWGP junior heavyweight champion and a one-time IWGP junior heavyweight tag team champion certainly knows his way around the ring utilizing aerial attacks along with that Japanese strong style striking ability well-rounded professional looking to get it done here against Kenta and stop 
his momentum and gain some of his own. And our main event gets underway. Both men tying up in the centre of the ring. Side headlock take over by Kenta. Very strange actually to see these men engage in the feeling out process as you would imagine they know each other very well from the wars all across Japan. Kenta now sending Ibushi to the ropes. Drop down. Oh kitchen sink! Looks to follow up with that soccer kick. Bushi. Dragon screw leg whip. Oh, and a soccer kick of his own. He stamps Kenta on the mat. Men exchanging forearms. Irish whip. Oh, follows it up. That big boot. Kenta looking to ride that wave of momentum from his first win here in revolt against the young Pillman Jr. But I'd imagine Kota Ibushi will be much more of a task for him here in our main event. Now that's no slight against the young Pillman. I just don't think he's as of yet up to the caliber of these two men that we see before us. win here tonight will mean that Kenta remains undefeated he grabs the hold now on the golden star keeping him grounded keeping him map based for the time being probably a good game plan as we know the golden star likes to utilize aerial offense in his attacks against his opponents Kenta sending him to the corner Oh, tornado DDT. Goes for the pin, hooks the leg. Nothing but a one count. These two men learning their trade in the dojos of Japan. World oh! What a vertical leap. Up into that Frankensteiner. Ibushi going for the pin. Not even a one count. As I was saying. Both of these men learning their trade in the dojos of Japan. Those dojos world renowned for being some of the toughest place, places to learn the art of professional wrestling. So we see the double stomp from Ibushi as he telegraphed that front drop kick and now the dragon attack. Great series of maneuvers there by the Golden Star. And he could be looking for that last right power bomb, but Kenta able to roll out the back door, pinning Ibushi. Ibushi reversing it. <laughs> These men know each other so well as they exchange pinfalls. Kenta able to get out of two. Get to the midsection. Oh, brain buster! As he gets in the face of Ibushi. This rivalry could be heating up once more. Oh, clothesline from the Golden Star. Could be looking for it now. Yes, he is. Last right power bomb. And just like that, Ibushi takes control with authority. It seems to me the fans in attendance don't know exactly who to cheer for in our main event. Both these men well liked. Lateral press hooks the leg. Kenta out of one, showing great resiliency. Oh, kitchen sink. Both men showing exactly how well they know each other. His momentum continues just to go back and forth. Oh, a great vertical leap, double foot stomp to the chest of Kenta. Ibushi trying to remain in control of this one, but oh, Kenta hung up on the top rope. Ibushi looked for the knee to the spine. Kenta out the side, 
escaping and following up with a clothesline into the corner as he washes the face of Ibushi and now he could be looking for that go to sleep lifts him up fireman's carry going to hit him with that knee there it is and he's going to follow up now with that devastating kick and he hits it that could be lights out for Ibushi hooks the leg one two and Kenta picks up the win in his second outing in Revolt Pro Wrestling Bushi remaining in the ring here looking for the handshake maybe will we see it and yes we do a great show of respect between these two former rivals on a night that started out much different when we saw Aries and Karma both attacked their opponents after the match. Kenta remaining undefeated here in Revolt Pro Wrestling. And that's all we have time for tonight, folks. I've been Dan Muldoon. This has been Revolt. Surrender face